following segment is sponsored by Petland. 7.13 on Fox 20 Morning Live. For the first time in 2020, Ron from Petlands <laughs> here. And as always, you've brought guests. Yes, always bring the guests. <laughs> All right, so I always challenge on this. These are two mixes. Okay. And what are the mixes? Do you know what they are yet? I think this might... Is there a retriever in this at all? No. There's not? You're I'm the second so person to say this. Well, because he looked like a little, All right. little golden. So maybe. both of them have dachshunds okay. in them. Um, but this one has the poodle as the other yep. side. And this one has a corgi. Really? Yeah. And, and so okay. for those people that are all about purebreds, I love you too, um, but know that all purebreds were mixed breeds from the past and they go. had some purpose of it doing it. So in this case, a poodle was mixed with a dachshund to make it more hypoallergenic. Not okay. saying that it's perfect in that way or anything, yeah. but it's getting it more. That one, okay, just plain cute. Yeah, I mean, just, that's, that, there's a cute factor. Just the cutest that thing that's ever lived. The thing they do have in common is they both smell great right now. Yes. Which isn't always the case for I, puppies, is it? I love it when friends and customers ask questions because it keeps me into what is sure. everybody, what's on everybody's mind yeah. and everything. And I had a friend ask, hey, my dog is stinky. What do I do? And I go, wait, there's some questions I need to know because what do you mean by stink? Yeah. Um, on one side, you know, they talk about body smell and mm -hmm. everything. And I go, well, if... You know, you, how often, when's the last time you took a shower? That's a personal question. Yeah, I'm, probably like let's, let's this not. morning or, or, or last, <laughs> last night. night last night when's the last time you gave a dog a bath? I oh, a month ago or two. <laughs> if we went that long, holy cow, would we be stinky too. Be, so yeah. they actually are not all that stinky and that's because they don't sweat and then sure. they don't have the bacteria thing and all that kind of stuff. So on that side, know that you can bathe your dog multiple times a month. Uh, I, we bathe our dog once a week, no, no oh, big really? deal. Okay. Yeah. The shampoos that are out there right now are all safe, you know, for the most part. It, and in Petland, they're all safe. <clears throat> But also know that we have deodorizers, and I was just talking about this yeah. one. This one is amazing. When you use this product by Petland, um, it doesn't have a lot of smell to it, but it removes the stink. And you were talking about you kind of had to learn the lesson of how yes, that works. I because complained. You, you think these are kind of like colognes or you know, some yeah. sort of fragrance. You're, there's supposed to be a smell. No, it's supposed to be the opposite. Right. right. In fact, that's what I said. I go, I sprayed it on and I don't smell anything. And they go, that's the point. It took the stink away. And I went, oh, okay. They put you in your place. Then there are colognes out there, and there are some wonderful colognes. Just do a you know, smell and all that kind of stuff. And then also know about conditioners. Uh, I use conditioners whether my dog has, we have both short hair and long hair. Sure. I use conditioner every single time because okay. it smells so good on them. And it's a silky smooth. So, all right, that's the obvious one. Here's one. My dog smells. Well, where does it smell? Oh, around the head and the ear. Okay, you've got some issues going on in sure, the, yeah. the ear. Get an ear wash. That's something that you can get and do. It's a real simple process. It'll say it right on the package. <clears throat> You're going to uh, massage their ears while it's in there and then like stand back and then they're going to do that whole waggle thing. Sure, yeah. Uh, do it a couple of times and then do it on a weekly basis if you see there's an issue. So then, do you have, okay, my dog stinks. Where does it stink? Oh, like breath. All right, oh. so let's go after that. This is, a, I love this package right here, and that has a toothbrush. Notice that the, it has bristles on both sides, and so you get through it quick. It has a gel product, which you can buy separately. That gel by Tropiclean, you put it in there, and it'll actually remove uh, calcium deposits, mm -hmm. which is where bacteria hide out, yep. which is where they get all prolific on, and go big on you, and then go to periodontal disease, which is pretty serious. Yeah. So if you've got bad breath in your dog, try this, but you might also want to make a visit to your veterinarian, because sure. if there is some things going on, they, they need to check that out and, and see what they can do. Know that greenies, actually do work. A greening a day keeps the breath away. <laughs> um, there are some knockoff brands that are coming out and so this one by Merrick is really good. I've tried that one and the dogs love it and everything. So that's another way. And then finally, all right, quickly the, here. the uh, yeah. food that you're feeding. <laughs> so in this case, my friend, it, I think it's more on the food side. So we eliminated one. It had a lot of preservatives, a lot of processy stuff, sure. you know, stuff that you find at the marts and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I go, go with something that when you read the ingredient list, you at least know what's in it. Or here, this one, what is it? The ingredient list? It's liver, beef liver. That's it. That's it. So now you know what's going into your dog, sure. and that's going to eliminate some of that, potentially some of that 
gas and yeah. breath. Yeah, there's only so much you can do on certain ends of things. But uh, yep. Petland, Iowa City is there to get you all this stuff and maybe pick up a pup there too if they're as cute as this guy. You've been yawning a lot, quite a bit. People I need have been a nap. That. 